when your wife will think I don't remember anything other than waking up in a bathroom hearing my voice being called and I saw my hand in a sink of cold water and um, I don't know how I got there. When I was in a state of shock, I remember most distinctly looking and seeing, oh, bones, veins. My name is Melanie Tchaikovsky, and I'm a mixed media sculptor. I think I'm very accident prone. The knife slipped and I cut the nerves in this hand, I have nerve damage there, and I had baseball bat to my head. So my whole body has been like literally injured. So this, this one. I wanted uh, the fragility, the delicacy of the uh, linen, and I wanted it to be almost transparent, like thin layer of skin. And um, I employed the actual acupuncture needles that were used on me. I really wanted to use those needles, and I, I held on to them for 30 years, so <laughs> obviously I uh, finally found a use for it. I kind of like how it jiggles, too. You know, it vibrates. It's the way the pain is, it kind of vibrates like that. Yeah, the skiing accident changed my life in a nanosecond. They put this big cast on me and I said, there's something in the cast, there's, there's, there's something, you know. I felt like there were needles in me. I made them take the cast off and look. And that's when they realized that I had this somewhat rare pain disorder. I think that's why I, there's always this edge to everything I do because I've lived a life of pain. I came up with a name for the series and it's called Remains to be Seen. I was looking at ancient medical books and I was looking at the techniques they used to wrap people before there was plaster of a pair. And they had some very unusual wrapping techniques, and they were actually visually quite beautiful. These were the acupuncture dummies I, I bought, and they're squishy, and I could do what I want with them. I uh, made the molds of the acupuncture dummy, and I started playing with the pulp. And at first, I was a, a, a little upset because it shrunk so much, and it, the pulp would just dry and distort and shrivel, and I'm a bit of a control freak. And then I realized, no, 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 this, this is good. <laughs> this distortion is, is exactly what I want. I had a need to express myself. I wasn't, I didn't think very good at expressing myself verbally. I even had a speech impediment when I was a child. I, I felt um, more secure using the visual medium to um, say what I felt like I needed to say. As long as I'm focused on something and I'm involved, I don't feel the pain. I just would be afraid if I didn't have something like this to do to keep me uh, well.